I just got back from uh, another saltwater fishing trip. I didn't have much time to go out there because of some family issues that had come up. Uh, I had to cut the beginning part of my, my trip off. But I was able, in the trip I had planned before, I had to cancel completely because a hurricane had come up. So I hadn't been out in a while. Um, but I really wanted to get out there and get on that fall bite a little bit. So I went out with just a few days. Um, so I got out that first day, um, got my camp set up, and was able to get out into the inlet that I like to fish off the Chesapeake Bay. And as I'm drifting the edge of the grass flat to get to that spot, um, I start getting into some big trout. Conditions are epic. I mean, the water's not very, you know, the water's relatively calm, um, and uh, it's overcast, and I start getting on trout right off the bat. I catch uh, seven keeper trout that morning, and that's before I got up to where I even wanted to go to, just through that flat. And out of those seven, two of them were over 20 inches. And when I say over 20, like, one was 20 and a quarter inches and the other one was 22 and a quarter inches. So I just had this epic morning catching speckled trout that morning. Uh, I, one of the other things I want to do this trip, I wanted to target sheephead for the first time. It's something I've been interested in for a while. I've done a lot of research on it. I so I, uh, I, I went down to the outer banks to get this done. I could have done it where I was at. They were catching sheephead on the bridge that led into the inlet where I was at. But I wanted to go down and target them and the Oregon Inlet at the Old Bonner Bridge. There's not much left of it. It's an, just iconic. I've had some incredible memories in the last just few years. Um, fishing there, it's one of those places that's really got me into saltwater fishing and I wanted my first sheephead to come off the Old Bonner Bridge before it's gone. Um, you know, it's about making memories to me. So I caught two sheephead that evening, mission accomplished. Uh, for such a short time, I had a really epic trip, had a lot of success catching my personal best uh, speckled trout and my first and then my personal best sheephead. So um, I really hope you enjoy this video. You know, I'll be showing you those those catches of the trout and uh, and I'll, I'll be showing you the bonus footage of the catches of the sheephead. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, please, uh, you know, subscribe. To Some pelicans up here. There's quite a few more just that just flew out of there. But there's still a little bit up in there. A couple of them up in there that are fishing up in around those little. Oh yeah, just one just dove right there off the point. There's another one right there in between. Seeing those pelicans dive in there tells me there's some bait fishes then come up in there. And where there's bait fish, there's probably some hungry trout. I also see the head of either an egret or a or a heron up there also, right where the pelicans swim across. So I think I'm gonna start up here and see what I got. Cause they're, they're both pelicans and herrings up there fishing around quite a bit. This isn't quite where I wanted to get to yet, but the tide's still coming in. And it's not very deep right here, but with it only about two hours left before high tide, it's probably about six foot deep here, so that's about right for my popping cork, so I'm gonna give it a shot. It's official. I'm in my happy place.
That's what I'm after. Right there. Heck yeah. Well, he's a drumming too. a drumming it's like my fourth or fifth and as many casts just can't seem to get another keeper Ooh. come here you i'm trying to let you go i'm trying to let you go Just to demonstrate that it's every cast outside of the videotape the cast and the catch on that one. That was my very next cast. Let's see if I can't uh, see if I can't catch a bigger one. I pop my popping cork. Bait fish just go everywhere. Man, this is a blast. Just fish after fish. I'm starting to get these 10, 11 inches now, which is a lot of fun. This one here might be 12. <laughs> well i want to dedicate this dinky trout to my buddy walt he put me on to this particular lure that was the first time i've ever fished it just then i knew there was trout in there because i was catching them every cast so i decided to go to his that he's had a lot of luck with and caught the smallest trout of the day so far that's all right at least i know they're hitting it
Well, hopefully early bird gets the worm. Looks like I have the whole flats to myself for now. Water's relatively calm. It's not glass like yesterday evening, but... Too big on my neck. Lord. So, I just came out and was fishing down this, just doing a drift. And uh, I had a trout or something, could have been a redfish, but something break, break my line at the hook. And I tie very good, you know, improved clinch and put a couple regular shoestring knots above it. And uh, stag on uh, fish broke me off. I was like, man, there's, there's good fish laying in there. So I took my time, finished my drift, retied, and then came back in here. And my first cast back in there, I picked up this fish. And this is bigger than anything that I caught yesterday evening. I caught probably 30 fish yesterday evening, just two and a half hours, right at 30 fish. So super happy with him to have a keeper on the boat right off the bat of course my first fish of yesterday evening was my biggest fish which was a keeper but not as big as this one let's see what we got here i could never got him in the net Nineteen. Nineteen and girthy. Definitely a good fish. So he will be going on a stringer. <clears throat> right off the bat. Man, I got another big fish on here. I hope it's a trout. Good lord it is. That's a monster trout. Monster trout. I don't even know how in the hell I'm going to net that thing. I don't even know if I can freak him out and get him in the boat. In my net. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. I just caught my PB trout. Holy hell. Whew. Just caught my personal best trout. What a fish. Good lord. What a fish. This is what I come out here for. This is what I wanted to accomplish today. It's my only full day to hunt, I mean to fish. I gave up hunting to come out here. And uh, I'm glad I did. Lord, am I stoked. I have to get my fish grippers out for this big boy. He would cut my fingers up. PB trout. Right here. Hands down. Good lord. What a beast. What a beast. Ab absolute monster fish. Let's see if I can get him in the camera. Jeez, I'll hold him out as far as my arms will go. 